Okay, I'm gonna try this again. I don't know why my video is showing up sideways. Okay, that was weird. Because my phone had it horizontal, but when I looked on my iPad, I was sideways. Okay, I have trying a little bit better lighting, I hope. Um, but anyway, if y'all can see the room around me, it is crazy, crazy, crazy messy. It's a wonder <laughs> that I can find anything, but I make sure that my little spot right here is clean, and I sure hope I have everything that I need. So, if you are watching, give me a wave, say hi, um, tell me if you are creating anything today. Um, and my volume. Let's turn my volume down. Okay, so I thought it would be fun to show you a couple of different ways to color on vellum. And sometimes um, stamping on vellum, it, it's sometimes it's hard to do, but really the best thing to use if you want to stamp on vellum paper is the stays on ink. It dries fairly quick and it doesn't smear. If you have ever tried to use our water-based inks on um, the vellum paper, it you can set it out and let it set forever and it will still smear. So the vellum doesn't really, I mean, the stays on ink does not do that. And uh, one thing it does do is, hi, Laura, how are you today? Hi, Marilyn, thank you for joining. One thing the stays on ink does do is it will stain your stamps. So I don't use stays on ink a whole lot, um, just when I'm doing things like this. And just know that your stamps will get stained, but it's okay, they will still work. But anytime that you do use stays on ink, you um, need to clean it with stays on all purpose cleaner. And <clears throat> other, our other cleaners won't work. Water doesn't clean it. And if you get it on your block, you really need to rub the stays on on your block and wipe the block off because it, it will not come off. So make sure that you have stays on cleaner, just the regular spritzer. This doesn't work. You need stays on with stays on. And I know that we sell it. You can probably also buy it in stores like Michael's Hobby Lobby, along with the stays on ink. We do sell stays on ink, uh, but you can also buy it out in any craft stores when they're open. Because you're probably not, I don't know. <laughs> My husband asked me the other night if Hobby Lobby and Michaels were essential businesses. Crafting is essential, don't you think? It is right now because there's really not much else to do for entertainment. So, anyway, this is the stamp set. Um, I created some cards with this a couple weeks ago and shared them. They're really cute. Um, this is Fairy Tale Magic. And if you saw my cards that I created previously and I posted about it, that I had kind of overlooked this stamp the first time going through the catalog. But then I came back and started looking at it and I thought, well, that, you know, that's really cute. So I ordered it. And this is the one that comes with a thin cut for the fairy. Now you're going to see what my stamp looks like now. This is the thin cut for the fairy. It's just, that's the only one. This is the stamp set, so you can see I have used stays on on this because it is so um, black looking, but that does not affect the how it stamps at all. So for the sake of time and drying, I went ahead and stamped um, the fairy in, um, on the vellum and I did the I did the cutout and stamped her and so that it shows up better I'm gonna do this on a little piece of white cardstock so that you can see now I'm gonna show you two ways to color 
um, on, on vellum, and one is with reinker, and the other is with markers. And when you color with a reinker or markers, you want to flip it over to the back side. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip it over. And, and you're probably thinking, well, you know, why reinkers? Why can't I just color with the, the ink pad and a water brush like I see you do all the time? Well, when you do that, you know it gives you a, more of a lighter color, more of a watery color. Using reinkers, and look, I'm using a real paintbrush here, not a water brush. And using reinker in a paintbrush gives you a more intense color. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my little block here as my paint palette. And it really does not take much ink at all. Just a real little droplet, actually. And this is this is a retired color. This will. I was going through my. I have lots of reinkers, but do you know I do not have a pink. I really wanted pink, so I settled for thistle. I have a lot of reinkers, but I just don't. It seems like when I go to get them, I don't have the color I'm looking for. So I just dabbed my paintbrush into the reinker. And I am just going to paint. And see how that goes on? Just nice and smooth with a, a very intense color there. It's a dark color. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Lisa. I'm looking over to see who else is joining on my little lunchtime coloring here. So while I'm coloring this, I thought I would just talk a little bit about um, cards. And I know you card makers out there probably have a lot of cards because card makers love to make cards. And if you are like me, they have started piling up because I've got a lot. So what I've been trying to do is um, send people, right now, I've got two cards going out in the mail today. Um, I don't even know these women personally. They are uh, m moms or mother-in-laws of people I know. One is in the hospital recovering from um, broken bones. And another one, is in, she's in a nursing home and unable to have visitors. And I know that's got to be so sad for some of them that have visitors come and family come and see them. And so I thought it would be nice just to send a cheerful card. Um, they're actually getting cards that I made and shared this week. So the, I'm done with the thistle. No, wait, let's do her little ribbons. And I'm just going to dip my paintbrush into my jar of water and I'm going to rinse it off here. Brush it on a paper towel and I found some almond. How about that for hair? So just a tad, that's all I need. You could get quite into the coloring here. So I'm not going to finish this one all the way. I'm gonna show you the one that I painted last night. And so I painted this side and then I flipped her over and, and the wetness will make it bend a little bit. So I've got to um, be, um, I can't think of the word. However, I'm gonna stick her down to make her lay down. So I'm gonna set this one aside and before I put the card together with that one, I will show you, let's do some coloring with 
my tri-blend marker. So I've got another image stamped here. And I'm gonna flip her over. And let's see, I've got some markers here. I'm going to, I think I'm gonna use a blue. This is the lightest color. do let's do some dark maybe and I tell y'all all the time I'm not an expert color at all I just kind of lay it by ear here so it's really Really easy to color. And I have some mushrooms. Let's see. Let's try. Some green so it's really easy if you have any um, kind of alcohol markers at all you can use that to color on and let's see I'm going to use this one yeah I don't know how that is showing up hi Heather just looking up to see who all is crafting with me. Um, also, don't forget about my bingo that's going on. You've got all week to play along. All you have to do is check out that bingo card that I posted. And if you want to, you can even print it out. I put it in the file section. Print it out create something and all you got to do is come here to my group page and just make a comment um, which square that you did check a snapshot of your artwork and just post it in the comments I want to see a lot of artwork because I know there's a lot of people creating some things right now and it's just kind of fun to share I won't finish her all the way but that is what that would look like. I'll, I'll finish her a little later and I will post the card. But in the meantime, let's finish this original one that I started. This is the mix-in paper right here. This is from the art mix-in paper pack. I am so in love with this pack this month, um, this catalog. They, we, every, every catalog, we have a brand new mix-in paper pack, and it comes with six sheets of printed paper. It's double-sided, so each side has a different print on it. And I just love the paper in this one this time. This is just a really simple card here. Putting this on and I'm going to do some things to her to finish her up. So I don't know if you can see or not. I'm going to hold this up. Let's see if this shows up. I took the stamp. What did I do with my stamp set? I don't even have that big of a spot and I've lost my stamp set already. Here it is behind me. Okay, so this little stamp set here, I took this stamp and I stamped it in the lilac ink. That is the color of this purple paper and stamped it along here for the background and lilac is so light that it 
gives it a subtle background without being really bright and um, just enough. It added just enough to give it something. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Now, for my little fairy, I am going to, I'm gonna go ahead and attach her and I'm going to use some of these small glue dots because they won't show as much. And I'm gonna strategically place them. So you can see her hands kind of uh, black right there. So you wouldn't really be able to see the glue dot there. I'm going to put one right here where that dot on her wing is because I am going to cover that dot with something. Because you know, most anything you use with the vellum, it kind of shows through. So you have to be strategic. See how she lays flat. Now, I have gold stickles, and even though I tried to paint her shoes there, I think I'm gonna make her shoes gold. Get this started good. And I'm going to put gold right here on her wings. See, I'm covering up the little dots that I made. I love stickles. Who has stickles? Okay, let's see. I think I'm gonna put some here. This is why I didn't um, paint her wings because I knew I wanted to put some stickles on them. And the stickles will take a little bit to dry, so I have to be really careful about where I place this and, and set it aside to let it dry for a little while. Let's see, anywhere else? I think we have, this stamp set has some little stars here, so I'm going to stamp those see some black ink actually There's a lot of sizes of stars on here. I think that's the one I just did. I wasn't thinking. I stamped that star there and I didn't put my... Um, sentiment on there first. Oh well. And what I want to do I want to put, uh, use the sickles on the stars. And if you barely squeeze it, 
you can get a thinner line to come out. Oops, but not like that one. That one I was smeared. And I know that there is one on here for the end of her. I think it's this one. The end of her wand. There we go. So got to add that one. think what I'll do is stamp this on a piece of lilac paper. That's what I'll do. And have it come across the bottom like a banner. My sponge. Before I trim that off, I'm going to go ahead and stick this on. There. So, does it show up? What do you think? There is your little fairy painted with a ring inker. And I have another card to finish that I will post after after a while and I'm kind of behind on posting the pictures of my finished products uh, but I'll get all those posted and remember if you want to go back and search for anything that I've done I've done videos every day if you're just joining me today I have done videos every day since last Tuesday so if you just look if you search on my group page social distancing probably every video i've done has gone up or you can just go right to the video link on my group page and those are all there posted so thank you for joining me today and as always if you have a suggestion of something you want uh, me to see me do just comment leave me a comment and let me know um because i'm starting to run out of ideas y'all of being creative um, so anything y'all might have in mind that's not too hard and is fairly quick, I'll be happy to come on and create with you at lunchtime. So I'll be back here tomorrow at 1145 and you can join me again at lunch and let's get creative. Have a great day, everybody.